In this video, I'm going to talk about another tool within XRM toolbox called as User Settings Utility. Now, User Settings Utility was created by MS CRM Tools Organization. Now, it's basically a tool to set personalization settings parameter for users. Now, what are the personalization settings within Dynamic CRM? Is CRM allows you to basically set some personalization parameters like date time settings currency formatting of the date and time uh, email settings the uh, default mode through which your application gets loaded like the default pane or default tab or default window so all those things are personalized to a specific user so those things you can configure using user settings utility now the benefit of using this tool is like it, this tool allows you to configure those settings in bulk user or team level settings configuration can also be achieved within this tool now take for example the best use case scenario what i can uh, like what come to my mind is take for example you have this tenant dynamic crm tenant and if you have uh, branches in australia and new zealand now australia and new zealand operates in a different time zone and if you have say 50 percent of the staff in australia 50 percent of the staff in new zealand and if you want to set those users time zone for dynamic crm then you need to actually go into individual users and ask them to make those changes in the personalization setting now that is quite tedious and not achievable so in order to selectively configure the personalization settings for a specific user or specific team or specific group then you can group those users based on say australia user or new zealand users or maybe france users or usa users and then configure those bulk settings at once and within a fraction of a minute then all those settings will get updated to all the users now it all depends on how many users or how many groups exist but i'm going to demonstrate that soon what are the capabilities of user settings now there are various capabilities now it's a, a you can configure the settings based on the app okay so based on app you can set those settings so if you have five apps and if you select one of the app now if you want to configure the setting based on the apps which is being uh, installed uh, within your application then you can do that uh, what are the parameters you can set you can set the default pane for the user you can set the currency you can set the dashboard search parameters tab so those are all things you can set as a part of the configuration user settings capability. Now, date time format, languages settings, outlook form settings, how many records you want to display per page. Now in a grid, by default, if you have a, a requirement that all the users should see 30 records per page, those all things can be configured using user settings utility. So you have a scenario whereby New Zealand users should see 30 records per page and Australian users should see 20 records per page. Those all things you can do using this tool. Again, I explained to you this functionality of time zone based on the locale, based on the region, or you can select the time zone based on the groups which are created in Azure Active Directory. Also, you can customize. You can see whether the error notification needs to be sent to Microsoft in case anything happens within the platform. Those settings can also be sent in bulk. Then there are email settings and track email messages. So that's about the utility capabilities. Now, when to use, if you want to use, if you want to really use this uh, functionality, if you want to bulk update the settings for selected users or a teams or a group, then you need to use the settings. There are bulk update time zone settings. So if you want to set time zone for all your users belonging to different locations or regions or geography, then you can use the setting. You can update settings as per the app. As I mentioned to you, you can. it is useful for setting all the localization or globalization parameter and it can be set at once. You can start, configure the startup behavior for model driven apps. If you want the app to be loaded with a default pane or default tab or number of records to be displayed, those all things, uh, if that is a scenario, then you can use this particular uh, utility. This is how the utility looks like. Uh, it first loads all the users and then here you can set all the personalization settings parameters. 
and it can also be done app wise as well okay so i'm going to show you in a demo how these things work now let me open say one of the app so let me close all those things okay so this is one of the app which i have created long back is it this is a simple app it lists down the world's countries and capital and then there are some other parameters like account and contact but this is a simple tabular view of the world table now what this app does is nothing it allows you to add a new record or edit an existing record now as a user so i'm girish Yupal. now i have some personalization setting parameters like say take for example this is the date okay this is shown in usa format and i belong to australian location what i can do i can go to personalization settings and i can uh, do various things over here in set personal option so these are some of the things i can do i can uh, set my time zone so if i belong to say some location say brisbane i can set that to brisbane location i can set the default currency i can configure the search parameters i can uh, see the formats so here the format is united states what i'll do is i'll select english australia and then i'll click on ok now if you see here it will show the data in ddmmyy format now this i've done for one user okay now what if i want to make the same behavior for other users as well okay how can i go ahead and achieve it i can't ask every user say if i have 5000 users within my organization to go ahead and go into the personalization settings from here and then make those changes if you want to make those changes for all your users then this tool will come handy okay so if I go into this tool, now the tool name is basically user settings utility. So if I type just users, user settings utility, and then it will open the tool if it is already installed. If it is not, you can go ahead and install it from the XRM toolbox store. First thing, what you need to do, you need to load the users and settings. So it will start loading the users and settings within the platform. And this platform will basically load all the users now when i say users means you in your user table you will have all these views like enable users full access user team members now i'll just go ahead and click on enable users now these are the enable users within my organization now for say uh, if you see over here these are some of the settings okay now this settings from where the settings are coming like default pane default tab records per page all the settings are coming from here personalization settings so let's see default pane default app records per page default search experience time zone currency okay now all the things are coming from here see so these all things you can set now for a specific thing if i want to uh, say that i want all the users currency to be australian dollar time zone to be maybe Brisbane here and I will say the format let me see if I have this format over here yes I have this format over here so here I can select English Australia okay so now this is the on the right hand side you made all the settings and then you will dictate which all users should get those settings so i'll say lee girish just admin user adel vance alex or maybe let's not give it to just admin okay so i'll just selectively pick up four users over here once you're done with that you just click on update user settings i'll click on update user settings and then you will see all the settings will be applied for selective users and with just one click with one click you are able to change all those settings now i've just made one setting to the formatting but you can go ahead and make changes to the default search default dashboard default currency startup pane time zone error notifications crm forms for appointment contact email like this you can make all those settings now you can even view the log file so if i open the log file the log file will clearly show you what all things have been updated and it will give you this nice information that okay for these many users at this time the system has updated the record right also now this we have done from a user perspective now here on here if you see it will list on all the apps 
which you have built. Now I have built a world app, I have built an Olympics app, I have built a Girish model app. So let me open an Olympics app over here. And now, based on this app, I can also select, say for people who of, uh, are using Olympics app, I want their uh, default search to be uh, a categorized search or the default dashboard should be an innovation challenge or maybe the default currency, I can't make any change. I'll say records per page should be 75. Now, once I'm done with it, I can select the users for users for which this particular app is rendered and then I'll click on update user settings. And that's how you basically do that global settings using this user settings utility. So that's it, folks. If you want to make any bulk changes, user settings, personalization settings, utility, uh, personalization settings for an environment, then make use of this particular tool. Thanks for watching.